Hi, this is Pierre from BDSM Circle, and we're on Frank Talks, Pleasure and Lifestyles. You're listening to Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles, and I'm Frank because I have to be. We're in studio with Pierre and Catherine from the BDSM Circle, and they're here to give us a little taste of what BDSM is all about. Welcome back. Thanks. Nice to be back. All right. Let's start off this segment with um, the fact that the two of you are very uh, public about the fact that you lead the you you go into the BDSM lifestyle you've been featured on television um, some other media projects we're going to talk about let's start with the television program kink uh, the fact that the, you had a camera crew living with you following you um, what was that like to be followed by a television crew and have those parts of your life exposed well, BDSM isn't really something that we had um, particularly hidden. It's not something we'd, um, you know, advertised either. But at the same point, it wasn't it wasn't hidden. Um, at work, it was, um, uh, you know, some of my my friends knew about it. But um, it's not something that you know it comes up around the water cooler necessarily. However. Um, you know, so it was interesting to come out of the closet there, for sure. <laughs> what about uh, you, Pierre? What was that like? Well, it's the same. Like she said, we we don't have a, a neon sign on the house that says, you know, BDSM here or something like this. But at the same time, we don't hide it. Uh, like last summer, we did parties uh, with BDSM people. Uh, there was rule. I mean, we didn't allow anyone to do anything inappropriate in the backyard but we i mean we were 40 50 people having a blast all bdsm and when they would go into the house well things were a little different there but that's the whole thing we don't hide we don't advertise because we have we want to be respect but you have to respect other people uh you cannot go to your neighbor and say uh look at my uh, chain slave or something like this because that won't work okay but at the same time what's happening in my house is mine it's you know I, I have the right to do what I want in my house so uh, this is what we mean you know we're public but at the same time we don't advertise so in other words you don't throw it in people's faces that that's a fair way to put it I mean especially what well, the only thing we would hide it from I guess would be children you know this is this is an adult game it has nothing to do with children and yeah. children shouldn't be no more would this. I talk about anything sexually explicit in front of any kid <coughs> I'm not going to talk about BDSM either you know um, do the two of you have children no 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 and have you ever talked about the possibility that if one day you do have a child if no you comment. would okay uh, let's go into the process for being chosen to be on the television program kink what were the auditions like well we we actually didn't audition for kink um basically they we have a the website bdsmcircle.com and um so they found us through that and um they basically wrote us saying hey is this something you'd be interested in and we wrote back going well maybe tell us about it so um i actually hadn't seen very much of kink i think i'd got like one episode from a previous year but um they i we said you know we'd like to see the show so they sent us everything actually that had been done by up um in all of the other seasons on videotape which was nice to have to our videotape collection <laughs> um and um we checked it out and, and we liked the way they they dealt with the subjects we liked that the subjects were um, telling their own story and that they had a a, a, a cut of, of different pies and different slices of different parts of BDSM and it wasn't just the one the one view on it which was something we really liked because um, there's many many different views and and lifestyles kind of within BDSM a lot of people think that all BDSM people are going to have the same philosophy and um, as far as the the basic credence of of safe sane and consensual well yes you know um most or 99 percent do okay at least responsible people do 
But um, other than that, there's a lot of ways to live the lifestyle and there's a lot of takes on it. And uh, so it was neat to see that they were they were taking real life people who were living BDSM in different ways. What was nice about the show is the fact that they allow us to tell our own story. Of course, there's editing, they, you know, they, they choose the best part and stuff. And this is something that we were a bit worried about, you know. Uh, what if they take part that is not relevant with other, you know, out of context, because this is the biggest fear. But I think they did a pretty good job. I mean, there's things that I would have done differently, but I was in front of the camera, not behind. So it's like, it's not my decision to make. But I, this is what we like. We were able to tell our own, our story. Uh, some people have accused us to say that we were representing the, the BDSM crowd and, we, and we, we answered them. It's like, no, we were telling them our story, not we were not a representation of BDSM people from Montreal. We were a representation of Pierre and Catherine. 